all of this activity on. This isn't the end of it. We can't just gather together and express ourselves and then go home and forget about it and think that things are going to change. We're going to need all of you to be involved. Noel and James Reed has formed a group called the Neighbors of Hillcrest. We all need you to come out and be involved with this group in order to help them and support them with the things that they need to do in order to stop this school. Now, as Noel mentioned before, there is a uh, planning board meeting on August 6th in the town of Ramapo. All of you need to come out. It's 8 o'clock. All of you need to come out and show your, your, your objection to what is happening here. Beyond that, they're looking at legal action that's required in order to stop this or like a show cause. It's called an Article 78. Okay. We need to do that because based on the laws that the law that the town of Ramapo passed in order to allow this to happen, we believe is flawed. And the only way to do that is by filing a legal brief with the state to get an independent uh, review of what the town is allowing this builder to do. So we are going to need all of your support going forward. We're going to need you to come out and support him, but with, with the activities that they're doing and and to show up at the meeting and express your concern. Okay. So we really appreciate all of you coming, and I think that you had a revenue waiting the uh, had a chance, uh, led our chance coming down. He's, he's uh, heading an organization that uh, uh, organized a march into uh, Muncie to a grocery store. And I'll let him say a few words while we're in there. Greetings, everyone. No new school? No new school. On Eckerson Lane. On Lane. No private school? No private school. That we can't use. No private school, no private school that, we can't use. that we can't use. I just want to reiterate some of the points that were made previous. Uh, my name is Reverend Walden McWilliams IV. Uh, the organization that I'm a part of is Wake Up Rockland. And that's exactly what needs to happen in Rockland County. We need to wake the citizens and the residents of Rockland County up, especially to what's happening in Rockland County. And one of the things that we wanted to join in with the neighbors of Hillcrest in this particular action here, because what is taking place is there's a deterioration of our neighborhoods, there's a devaluation of our neighborhoods. And I, I lived in Philly for 12 years, and one of the things that when I went in, in North Philly and West Philly that I recognize is that gentrification was taking place in Philadelphia where they were trying to change the makeup of a community. And it didn't just happen with overnight, but it was a long, slow process. And when I moved back here, I recognized that the same thing is happening here. That there's a process that is happening that will change the makeup of your community in the next five to ten years. And if you want to stop that change, then we have to organize ourselves to fight against that change. We can't fight against it individually, but we have to come together as a community to let those powers to be know that we will not just lay by and watch our communities deteriorate. And that is what the powers that be are afraid of. They're not, they're afraid of our organization and our unity. So we have to remain patient, we have to remain organized, and we have to remain unified because as Mr. Miller said, this is a long fight. This will be a long fight and there'll be some unnecessary terms thrown your way. They'll do other, there'll be other words out there to distract you from the fight. But the bottom line is we want to preserve our communities. And in order to do that, we have to maintain our unity and maintain our organization. So I encourage everyone, Tuesday, August 6th, we all need to be there. Your community depends on it. Your community depends on you being present at that zoning board meeting. 
And what we're seeing here, we are tired of the political exploitation. We are tired of the overdevelopment by one segment of a community. We are tired of that. And that we have to learn to coexist. And the way things are right now, we cannot coexist with the relationship being that every time we, we you know, we, our, our relationship can't coexist with the sense of overdevelopment in our community. That is not a peaceful coexistence. What is taking place is not a peaceful coexistence. There has to be a mutual respect that goes along with a peaceful coexistence. So I encourage each and every one of you to be present on August 6th. Make our presence felt, make our voices heard, and continue to be organized. No private school, no private school that we can't use. That we can't